Nagarjun Dwarkanath is at the ISRO headquarters in Bengaluru. Uh, he's been speaking to the scientists. Now, remember, viewer, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be totally honest with you. Right now, nobody is disturbing ISRO. The scientists, the team there, they need their complete focus. India today, the media are not bothering them. The ISRO has, uh, you, you know, has dedicated spokespersons who are sharing information with the press. So please rest assured that nobody is trying to uh, you know, gain access to places that we are not allowed to, etc. We are an extremely responsible channel. And India Today's Nagarjun Dwarkanath, who leads our team in Bengaluru and tracks ISRO for us, has been in touch with everyone to get the most authentic information. Three hours and less to go, Naga. Uh, you know, if nerves are going to be high, I'm just wondering what five o'clock is going to be like. Shiv, that, that's true. In fact, all eyes on the ISRO command center at 6.04, 5.44 p.m. is when the automated landing system will be activated. Uh, I have some data that ISRO has shared with us. Uh, if I can ask my camera person to zoom in on this, on this document. Uh, this is where the lander will be at 544. That is a 30 kilometer uh, altitude above the lunar surface. Then the rough braking phase, which will be the power descent start, they'll have a rough braking phase, 690 seconds, and then it reaches the phase B, uh, which is up to, which is just above 7.4 kilometers. So within 690 seconds, from 30 kilometers to 7.4 kilometers descent. Then there'll be a, a 10 second uh, hovering, then 10 seconds hovering phase. Then again, fine braking phase. Then it comes to an alt altitude of up to 800 to 1,300 meters. That is just 1.3 kilometers above the lunar surface. And finally, the last descent phase as well. Uh, so it's totally up to 25 to 30 minutes as such from 5.44 to 6.04. Uh, as of now, all uh, command has been uploaded and locked is what we are told. So uh, all eyes on the big screen behind us where we'll start getting live visuals around 5.15 is what we are told. Uh, the ISRO chairman has briefed the scientists right away. We'll go, to, we'll go to Naga in just a moment. He's inside the, you know, he's inside the, the viewing gallery where we're going to get those live images uh, you know, a, a, and a graphical representation of the landing once things actually begin. And the first images will be beamed on a big screen there. You'll see all of that live here on India Today. I also want to bring in Akshita. You saw her a moment ago outside. She's now inside ISRO. Uh, Akshita, uh, I can only imagine the mood there right now. Uh, uh, you know, I was there during Chandrayaan 2. I remember what the atmosphere was like, the anticipation, the expectation, the emotions, the nervousness. Uh, you know, you've been speaking to many of the people there. What's it like being on the inside now? It was quite a scramble to get inside, Shiv. But now yeah. that we're here, I can tell you that everyone's super excited because the last few minutes is when we were allowed entry. And then we came into this massive screen where they're showing us what's happening right inside in the mission control complex. Briefly managed to take a round and then come here. I can tell you that the amount of calm written on every scientist's face is just astounding. It's brilliant to say the least because I think you and me, we can admit we are feeling excited. We're feeling a bit of nervousness as well. It doesn't look like any of that in really the mission control room. They seem calm and poised for the big, big landing moment. We're getting closer and closer, Shiv, and with that, of course, the trepidation also kind of builds, but it looks like Israel's been waiting for this very moment, and why not? Because they've worked on this for the last so many years, for the last 40 days, I'm sure they've toiled non-stop where they've tracked every monumental detail that's come in with regards to Chandrayaan 3's movement. Now is D-Day. Now is the moment is that's made or break essentially for this mission but looking at the mood i'm not sure what really happened a few years ago when you were there shift as far as the mood itself was concerned but i get a really good sense that this time it's most definitely going to happen simply because if you read the room if you read the emotions there it's a 100 percent confidence and it's amazing to see it's amazing to see that this team of scientists team chandrayaan all out there are waiting for these few moments without even a sense of you know what if
They are going 100% with the mission that this is going to be accomplished. Come 6 or 4, we're going to be celebrating. I can tell you that where we are right now, there's also a venue that's been set up for a press conference, hopefully a celebratory, congratulatory press conference that will be led by the ISRO chief. They're all there. You know, the ISRO chairman, the mission director, the project director, all of them, Mutuvel, Mohan Kumar, they're all present right now in the mission control center, hoping and praying that everything goes as per plan. Uh, like, in fact, ISRO had pointed out, you know, the communication that they've put forth, they've said that the ALS, which is the automated landing sequence, is something that they've given the command for 5.45 dot, it will kick off. 5.20, which is about two hours from now, is when we'll start getting a live stream of what's happening. But in the meanwhile, considering that we're inside and we've got a bird's eye view of what's happening, Shiv, we're going to keep getting you the footage of what's happening inside. Every time we get any nugget of information or image, it's going to be live on India Today. Uh, and you know, if the if the mood is if the mood is uh, electric right now, I can only imagine what that mood is going to be like. Uh, you know, at about five uh, five fifteen p.m. right before the auto landing sequence kicks off at five five forty-five, it's going to be absolutely crazy.